Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video. It has been exactly one year since I made the detailed review video. Back by me missing these uploads, I have decided to do another detailed review video, but this one's more in depth. So the last video, I wanted to say um, I'm sorry I was younger then, I was didn't have a lot of facts, so I did say some things that were questionable and that you shouldn't do in the video. Like I said, you should use them on outdoor rinks. You cannot use them. It's very unsafe. I apologize for any inconvenience. But yes, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, there's something I like with these guys. So I just, there's something I like with these pads, guys, is I like how they're able to go easy. Like, see, I'm going to my position. Drop it. It's not that hard to drop. It might hurt a little bit, but you just basically gotta drop. So it's not hard. You know, it has a glove shape. Let's say you're doing a glove shape. You bend down in your position. Go up. And you stick out your glove. Blocker. You know, you go down. Blocker. It's that simple. Hands up. I haven't actually worn these pads in about one year. They were pretty dirty from all me playing them, but uh, so uh, basically. This is me testing and telling you guys what I like and what I don't like. So, I like how easily you can drop, like, how you can just one stance. You know? Drop and you automatically might be able to save it because it's a very good quality, in my opinion. Depends on who you ask. Some people will say it's not good quality, but I find it is. Um, so, now let's move on to pads. I like them. They're, uh, they're flexible, but they're cheap at the same time. Like, if you want a more expensive pad that you can want and can use years longer, I recommend getting another pad, a different set. But if you want, like I said, it's good that my last year for a little bit just for fun, I recommend these. But pretty much, uh, of course, like any set, anything you buy, it might break after a certain amount of time. But it's gonna like right now. You want to do stance? Do you think? Drop. Now, as you can see, guys, let's see if I can zoom down. Here's a shot of me going down. Just my legs are like going down. So I can try to go butterfly for you guys. It's gonna be pretty hard though. That's what me trying to do a butterfly. That's a temp. It's uh, pretty hard to do a butterfly, but uh, I think it's a race maybe it's fun cross. Okay. But um, um I really do like these guys. Like I said, I really do. I like how, like, like I said, you know, you go down, easily able to move, you're easily able to swat away whatever rebound, whatever puck, whatever ball can tie you. Um, for any inspiring people that are, for any people that are watching me right now, or in these videos that want to be a goalie, um, for whether it's ice or ball hockey, I recommend being motivated, and I recommend putting in work. So, if you want to be an ice hockey goalie, you have to put in work, you have to put in practice, but when you do it's worth it. So like see so like you know so a bugger, squat away, you know so like if the puck's coming, squat, gloves come in, keep grinding the ball. If the ball's coming in, keep grinding it, catch. Bugger, catch. Glove, catch, ball goes down, drop. You know what I'm saying? So like the only thing I don't like it just have something I don't like about these guys is they're flimsy. So as you can see. I go down, and it's hard to get it's hard to get like the quality, like, see? He's not focused, right, see? I go down, and I try to do butterfly right here. I can't do it. It's just the way of putting your feet to be able to do it, like, see how it's kind of it, but it's really hard, like, you really have to, like, position your pads to go down and do the butterfly. But, uh, like I said, guys, uh, I do think it's pretty good. Um, I do enjoy having these pads. I think they've definitely helped. Um, these pads, in case you knew, they're red, white, and blue. Uh, they have the CCM logo. So now so let's talk about the glove. Sorry to a bunch of repeating, but I gotta get in depth. So like, the glove, I like the pocket. Like it's, it's a fairly big pocket for ball hockey, so balls coming, you can easily catch it. Um, or the puck whenever you're playing with your friends. Um, the blocker, I like how it's like, it's not the best quality with your like mesh, the mesh for your hand pocket. 
but it's fairly good. And then like, it's got some protection. So if you're gonna get a ball, like even watch this, it doesn't hurt. Like, it doesn't hurt. Like I feel nothing. But uh, so pretty much guys. Um, like I said, uh, the one bad thing about these pads is trying going to butterfly. I can never do it at any time that I try going to butterfly, no matter how many times. I just can't figure it out. But uh, I definitely like these pads. Um, I definitely enjoy them. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I enjoy the glove because it can easily catch. And it's a big pocket, a deep pocket. I enjoy the logo on it. It makes it look cooler. And then the stripes. The stripes on it is pretty cool too. I enjoy the blocker because it's nice and big. It's got a curve to it. So you can easily reach out, rotate your hand. I, like, I feel like this quality could be a little bit better for the price. But it's still a pretty good set. I like the pads because they're, they're durable and you can go down. But the one thing I don't like about the pads is how you can't go into butterfly. But like I said, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Get us to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. You guys are awesome. DJ Mao. Remember to follow your dreams and stay true to yourself. Peace. Have a good one, guys.